Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Travis here with Android.com and taking a look at some more awesome top paid Android applications from the Google Play Store. Uh, this one's actually called Punch Quest. That's the one that we're going to be taking a look at. And it comes to you from Noodle Cake Studios. Uh, if the developer sounds familiar, that's because these guys have brought you games such as Super Stickman Golf, Zombie Road Trip. Uh, they've been doing this whole Android game thing for a while now and uh, Punch Quest actually marks a uh, collaboration effort between them and Rocket Cat Games, so this is uh, a little bit different than the style you're typically used to from S Noodle Cake Studios. I don't know, but it's, it's a really cool game. 16-bit uh, in style, pays homage to uh, some of the over-the-top action games from like the 16-bit era, so I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. One dollar in the Google Play Store. Uh, memory size is about 17 megabytes. Noodle Cake Games. And it is just totally epically awesome. Oh dear god, it's so wonderful. So, the, one of the weirdest, or uh, I guess uh, non-typical uh, aspects of this game is you can actually play it in both portrait or uh, landscape mode. That's absolutely unheard of for most games. Most of the time you always have to play in landscape mode, and uh, the iOS version actually lets you play in that mode, and people were wondering what happened. So, you can see here, Punch Quest! Uh, it's so crazily awesome. So, it's kind of like a runner game, but with a whole lot more action. Uh, tapping the left thumbstick will make you jump up. Pressing it again will have them slam and hit down in the air. Uh, punching will make you dash and keep running forward and you can just punch these little baddies here at the bottom. You can uh, punch and then uppercut for like a really high jump. And it's like part runner, part platformer, part just totally awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got a dinosaur with lasers. So you can <laughs> see here, it's just... I mean, it doesn't get any more epic than this, folks. Oh, jeez. What is flying Tyrannosaurus? I mean, the Triceratops heads. Uh, you can see you have your, le your health level there at the top, top left corner. And I don't want to lose. Oh gosh, I lost my dinosaur. Okay, I'm probably gonna. Oh my god. Okay. This is absolutely insane. I don't even know what's going on right now. Uh 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 uh. And you want to hit the pottery to get uh, little power ups and stuff that are inside there. Ah. Uh. There we go, there we go! That's how you do it. Oh my gosh, no, you little rats. So you can see, if I just stop punching, he will literally stop running. Oh my god, my fists are on fire. Hold on, hold on one second, guys. I got some punching to do. Ah, 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 I'm on fire. Ah, jump, jump. Oh yeah, punching and jumping makes you jump a little bit higher, so if I punch then jump, and then I can jump and hit down. Oh gosh. Uh, pressing both. Uh, you can actually power up your guy so that you can gain new moves and stuff, so like, I played this on my other phone before. Oh my gosh, my fists are shooting out stuff. And uh, when you hold punch and jump, you can... That was the first time I got hit this whole time? You can block, and there's just other moves that you can learn and do uh, by upgrading your character, so... Yes, there are in-app purchases, so even at a dollar, there is still some stuff you can buy if you want to upgrade your character and take things the easy way. Just think of it as like the Game Genie, right? I mean, you had to pay, what was it, 25 bucks for the Game Genie back in the day just to have a bunch of codes and stuff, so... Uh, you can spend another extra dollar, and I died. Spend another extra dollar, and you can buy some crazy power-ups that will help you in your quest, so... Here we go. I'm Nomi. Help me ascend into godhood by completing punch quests. So there are punch quests. These are pretty much, I mean, if you're gonna try to like tackle these, it's gonna be kind of hard. Oh, I need to make sure I get a 20 hit combo. Most of the time you just uh, punch like a madman and hope that <laughs> you get one of these um, punch quest things here. So to get quest items, uh, let's just go ahead and next. So you can see here, my last run, I got 248 punches. Uh, those are the points I I got. These are all my stats. Crosses thrown, crosses landed. I mean, just tons and tons of stuff. Uh, share here, you can actually share with your friends on your social networks to get 2,000 uh, coins and stuff, but I don't want to mess with that. Or you can shop for more things. Quest, this is the stuff that I, I nailed in my first run there and then my score and my little guy. So you can actually customize your little guy too to change the color of his hair, his pants, color of his uh, gauntlets. And this is the shop. So I have 698 points just from doing that. And I can buy more, I guess they call them ponchos instead of coins, but you can buy more of those uh, for real money. I guess I'll show you that right now. 
75,000 for two bucks to, you know, and you already purchased a game for a dollar. Really, that is a really, really low entry fee for something this awesome. So power one skill, you can do a higher cut, uh, rage, key blast, flying fists. There's just a whole lot of stuff to buy here. Power two skill, super moves. Uh, I already have that one equipped, but I didn't even know I could do it. Uh, customize your character. Let's go ahead and show you that. So you can buy hats, different types of. No, I don't want to do any of that. Let's go back. Back. You can choose between male or female, and the female kind of just looks like a really brawny chick. <laughs> uh, and then the dude, and then of course you can uh, customize the hair color and stuff like that. So skin and color, hair color, color of the hat if he was wearing a hat, or some type of adornment, which I believe is, uh, I can't remember right now. The armor that you equip onto your character as well. My guy's pretty much just running topless, just the way I like him. And you can add an extra slot for 50,000 coins or punchos, which I really don't really don't care for. So that's kind of it. You got your upgrades. Let's go through that. Blocking ability. So this is only 10, and I like this because sometimes those guys with the axes, they hold up their axe and it gives you a little time to react. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that for 10. Uh, ultra survival. If you reach one of the remaining hearts, your next super will be ultra. Uh, I don't really care about that right now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the game. There's a bunch of different levels you can go through. Uh, let's just go back and maybe I will go to the main. And uh, that is Punch Quest. Quest mode, help Magical Gnome level up by completing Punch Quest or Spartan mode. Punching the game. Let's try Spartan. Oh no, you gotta have 150,000 punches. No thanks. So, there you go. Started again in the dungeon. Hopefully your newly acquired uh, power-ups and special moves will get you further and of course you can share your high scores with your friends and stuff on social so pretty cool game punch quest by noodle cake studios i'm chris chavez of fandra.com thank you guys for watching this one's 99 cents in the google play store you guys can download it right now uh, i will see you next time Woo. oh i got smacked